hello 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 darlings this is so beautiful that i'm back on camilla have been or not on camera for some time hope you're doing well this is christine your lady your sister your friend so here we are having something that uh, we posted before on facebook but in another format this has been kept for a long time but i would love to share with you that before that have you subscribed to my page show youtube Please, if you haven't, go down and hit the subscription button. And if you haven't followed us on Facebook, please follow us on Facebook. We are there 24-7. And for Instagram, we are very active. Those three, we just add you just those three platforms. So, recently, I think you saw it on Facebook. Recently, my friend walked me. She's a, a person who has known me for some time. And she was like, hey, Christine, you have done enough business. I know your account is not it. You're wealthy. This triggered my my thinking. It triggered my, you know, I'm a kind of a person that I will always analyze. I always think when I'm alone, I'm not alone, by the way. I think I might be alone, but I'm thinking. So... All in all, I imagine what people think about wealth or what people think about you when you're out there. What do you think people are thinking about you in what you've been doing about your wealth, about the money on your account, uh, about how you live, how you stay, what they see behind and what they imagine with their, with their heights. They imagine wealth, they imagine riches, they imagine your account be loaded. I sat down and I'm like, you know, I've done a lot of business, but I want to tell you something. And I feel this is the right time. Please don't stop the day. I want to finish up with you. It's about worth. What do you think about worth? In your own understanding, what do you think about? I sat down and I put some major three points. And these, are, these three points have been consoling me because the businesses I've done, you might find in two, three businesses, in two, three years. People are expecting to see me drive a Ramojin. People are expecting to see me uh, drive that beautiful car. People are expecting you to live in high-end areas. Like if you're in Dubai, you're supposed to live, for example, like in Marina, not in Shelter, not here. Then I'm like, people misunderstand what wealth is all about. Misunderstand what uh, riches is all about. What do you understand before I give you what consoled me and what always makes me move? What do you think about wealth? You, in your own, what do you think wealth is all about? Let me know. So, I put something down. If you go to, if you go and follow us on Facebook, you're going to see it there. It's about wealth and what people think about wealth. So, I said, these are three wealth building habit hacks. That changed my life and I think they can change your life and the first one is about changing the way you look at wealth how do you look at wealth you know when people um, you know that's why everybody sometimes a girl or a gentleman every weekend has to go and buy a new cross for mega resources from the small money that she has because she wants to look wealthy like, it's not like that please wealth is so much more than most people think. It's not about the properties you have. It's not about the amount of money you have in a year. You will ask me something, maybe that time I have money, I can dash it out, I can buy for you something, I can contribute, but does, that doesn't mean that that person is wealthy. It's not measured in dollars, by the way. It is not measured in shillings, in millions, no. The only thing it's measured in abundance of powerful knowledge. The knowledge of the things that are beyond you that you know. Say, so I say, this is it. That's why you see the people who are prospering, they know more, they read more. Someone will tell you, my friend recently was telling me he has enrolled in, a, in another university at his age because he's, he wants to know more. And that knowing more, that knowledge will set him free. So get to know that it's not about, it's about the powerful, abundance powerful knowledge that can be used for extraordinary personal growth. 
that is one being rich really isn't only about what you have in the as in terms of stocks and money no it isn't it's about the knowledge so take note of that when we go to the second one that has calmed me now and, and has relieved me from thinking oh i've done a lot of businesses i've been doing a lot of businesses but when someone is asking me some money i don't have they're going to call me i don't have money they're going to say i'm not rich you know people now are measuring the riches according to the way you give them or according to the way it's fresh or the way you look no the second one is to focus on future you people when you focus on now you will run mad because now is very ugly the way people are looking at you is not what you are you have debts incurring but my dad used to tell me a poor person cannot incur debts by the way look at yourself if you really see you don't have debts you know that you're poor but if you have things that you're doing and you can incur debts it means you have a project that you're doing so focus on the future. How is the future? Is think about what you really want to be. I said, look at something and write. What do you want to be? Which type of a car do you want to drive? Which family? Which kids? Which schools? Focus on those. The moment you focus on that, you will work towards it. But if you focus on today, it is really a worst. Because when you focus, wealth is a long-term, a long-term investment. It's not a short-term investment. This one, I've gotten, I, I've sold matches and I've gotten a profit of two dirham. That is not wealth. So, meanwhile, as we, as I continue to give you the last one, sorry for that. Can you put me just write in the comment section and tell me what you think is wealth is all about? What do you think? So, real satisfaction, by the way, you people. Is about your future. The real satisfaction is not about. It's not about what you're going to put on today, tomorrow, but what you see in future. Then I quoted a one guy that I look up to, and I'm also in his institution. He said, "Just, just don't let the shiny objects and roar of instant gratification pull off your course. Just stop, think." You know there are things that come in our way to make us to make us lose our focus. Don't lose your focus because of today. Continue. Continue. I've lost my focus. Someone has lost his focus. People have fallen, have fallen a lot a lot of times. Don't mind about that. You know there's a trend of these days. If you don't have like iPhone Pro Max 14, if you don't have those shining gadgets, if you don't have a new car, you know, you look, you, you, you're looked at as a loser. That's why you see even in any place where there is, you, you have, you look like as if you have money, you'll get a very bigger position in any community. But those are lies. Because the money is not about what you put on today or what you're holding. That is not your life goal for having those items. So I wrote and I said, how will getting the latest smartphone, hmm, how will it bring you closer to your future, especially to the, to the wealth you want? And how will this smartphone going to help you reach your career goals? Most people ask me, Christine, have you bought this? Have you done this? Why don't you do this? You know, you're for social media. But that one might not hold. Then the last one that has kept me moving, and you should know it also, it's about the wealth hacks. Keep track of what really matters to you. We always go off our track. Seriously, I go off my track because I always take other matters to be first. But from this time I came to learn this, I keep track of what really matters to me. One secret is becoming a very successful and wealth in life is to know what really matters to you. So my question is, what matters to you? So can you tell us what exactly do you think about being wealthy? I think it was good being with you right now. But let's continue and meet in the next video to finish this.